baseball fans were treated to a parade of upsets as five of the six National League games provided form reversals. Otto Graham and company were the principal actors in one of them, and Cleveland's Municipal Stadium was the stage as the hometown Browns took on the New York Giants. In the opening period, Cleveland's Otto Graham hits halfback Ray Renfro, and the play nets 14 yards to the Browns' 38. It's Otto again on the throw. Prime target this time is N. Dow Brewster for 16 yards. With the New York defense looking for another pass, Graham sends fullback Maurice Bassett up the middle for a 15-yard advance. Graham fakes a handoff and pitches far downfield, intended for Dante Lavelli. It misses fire, but interference is called on New York's Emlyn Tonnell, and it's first down Browns on the Giants' five. Otto Graham pushes into the snow-laden end zone with a Cleveland touchdown, and the Browns lead 7 to nothing. Later in the opening period, New York's Buford Long ignites a giant drive with a 10-yard burst of, to his own 36. New York fullback Eddie Price breaks over the middle and rambles 47 yards before he's overtaken on the Browns' 17 on a desperation tackle by Warren Long. On the last play of the first quarter, New York's Frank Gifford picks up seven yards on an off-tackle slam. Buford Long keeps the giant drive moving in the second period with a six-yard canter to the Cleveland Five. Jolly Connerly skirts wide for three yards and a New York touchdown. The score is tied at 7-7. New York's Ben Agajanian kicks off, and the Browns' Billy Reynolds gathers it in on the Cleveland three. Behind a wave of blockers, Reynolds dashes up the middle, cuts to the side, and scampers 52 yards before being driven out of bounds on the New York 45. Eagle Eye Otto Graham passes complete to Ray Renfro on a 22-yard maneuver that puts the Browns in business on the Giants' 23. Otto Graham pitches to his favorite receiver, Dante Lavelli, and it's touchdown Cleveland. At halftime, it's Cleveland Browns 14, New York Giants 7. In the third quarter, the Browns get a real break. Frank Gifford fumbles when hitting the line, and Warren Law recovers for the Browns on the New York 25. Cleveland's 230-pound fullback, Maurice Bassett, rolls wide on a 22-yard excursion that comes to a halt on the New York two-yard line. Otto Graham fights into the end zone for his second TD of the day, and the score now reads, Browns 21, Giants 7. New York's Charlie Connerly tries to get a passing attack underway, but alert Ken Cohns intercepts and returns the pigskin to the New York 33. A penalty sets the Browns back to the Giants 42, where Otto Graham pitches to Dante Lavelli for 32 yards to the New York 8 as the third period ends. Another penalty shoves the Browns back to the 17, then Lou Groza boots a successful field goal, making it Cleveland 24, New York 7. The Giants swing play clicks as Frank Gifford deposits a pass into the arms of Eddie Price, who gallops all the way for a touchdown on a thrilling 83-yard play. But the Browns defeat New York 24-14 to throw the Eastern Division into a three-way tie for first between New York, Pittsburgh, and Philadelphia.